Hi, my name is Miguel Luciano. I'm a visual artist from Puerto Rico originally who lives in East Harlem. And I was one of the artists in the Civic Practice Partnership Artist Residency Program here at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. When I started the residency, one of the first things I asked myself is, where is Puerto Rico represented at the Met? Where do I see myself? Where do I see my culture reflected? And one of the places that that brought me to was the Musical Instruments Gallery, where we have a representation of the Caribbean and Puerto Rico through this rare object, which is a jibaro guitar. It's a predecessor to the cuatro, which is our national instrument in Puerto Rico, and an important part of uh, folk music in Puerto Rico. So now we have a very special opportunity to hear several cuatros from the Mets collection performed by a wonderful cuatrista, Fabiola Mendez. Fabiola, thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited to have you here and especially honored that we get to be with these three Puerto Rican instruments in the Mets collection, uh, the tiple to the cuatro. I wonder if you could actually help us understand a little bit of the history of the evolution of these instruments. Yes, the tiple is one of the oldest instruments made by the jibaros and jibaras of Puerto Rico. When we think about Puerto Rican folklore, a lot of people immediately think of the cuatro as the national instrument of the island, but the tiple actually is the father of the cuatro. The tiple was developed first First. Mm. It's a, a small size because it was easier to make and easier to carry around. Mm. This one right here is the traditional one. We mm. call it tiple tradicional or tiple doliente. Mm. The cuatro, a lot of people ask me, why is it called cuatro right. if it has five double strings? Mm. Well, it originally had four. They eventually added a fifth string or a fifth double string to expand on the register. 
it can be applicable to many different genres of music versus the tiple that's just a more like high pitched instrument. Could we hear a little bit of what the tiple sounds like? Absolutely. Beautiful. Yes, Luis Angel Colón's Cuatro, part of the Mets collection. So there you hear that lower register. And so from the traditional acoustic instruments to the amplified instrument. Yes, let me give actually, you this again. Yeah, I'll put this back. This instrument is the one Puerto Rican instrument that was made by a Puerto Rican artist, craftsman here in New York, yeah. named Efraín Vega, who worked in the plexi shop of the Met in his uh, spare time or during breaks, that he would make instruments. And they were so good that in the mid-90s, two instruments were required for the collection. So uh, would you do the honors? Absolutely. This is um, the coolest looking tabla I've seen. <laughs> I've never seen a red one. So yeah. definitely excited to have the honor of playing it today. Thank you, Fabiola. It's such an honor to have you here. I'm so proud that you were part of this program. Thank you for having me. It is my pleasure.